ladies and gentlemen hello and welcome back to factorio rails not robots i've noticed something that is very very out of place we've got this poor little dude who's who's got literally 200 circuits in there but he can never get them out fast enough because he was just a, a normal old boring regular inserter how crazy is that oh well uh, we're actually having a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a an issue actually in terms of uh in terms of circuit production. So let's take this opportunity to upgrade upgrade some of these bad boys. Unfortunately, looks like we need to upgrade our entire infrastructure. Which is it's not really what I had in mind for the start of this episode, I'll be completely honest with you. But hey ho. Um let's see what we can do, I guess. See what we can do, perhaps? Do something Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh. Fix yourself. Goodness gracious me, how ridiculous. Good, oh, why did I press G there? Oh, goodness me, that was that was not very good at all. Okay, so we'll just try and make as many of these bad boys as we can. Yeah, it's not going to be super difficult to do. I mean, it's going to take a while, but whatever. We're basically just going to upgrade all of the... Uh, all of these machines, all of these machines, all of these machines, and all of these machines. That's our, ev that's our eventual intention. That's right. I messed up so many words in the last episode because I just I just couldn't speak. I was too excited. I was too darn excited. And I also did hint at the fact that we were going to be trying to sort out... Wow, would you look at how fast that iron and that copper is going? Holy cow. Yeah, we were, uh, we were going to try and sort out, or I was going to try and sort out the fact that we just don't have enough rocket fuel at the moment. So the first, you know, solution to any problem is... is stick in speed modules. Will that make a difference? And when I realize that I don't really care if it makes a difference or not, I, I add more shit in. I add more shit in, and I make crazy, crazy illogical routes to different places uh, purely because I want to, and, you know, we're getting into the end game sort of thing, which is really, really fun, and I, I kind of really, really enjoy it. So, uh, we'll keep that one spare, but we will upgrade all of these bad boys, I think. There we go. We'll keep one spare, as I said we would. And now we should be making these at a much, much faster rate. Yeah, holy cow, wow. We're getting a pretty much almost saturated belt, so we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to need 10 to finish out the upgrade, but, you know, that's something that we don't actually have to worry about. I mean, circuits are basically much, uh, basically, basically much, circuits are basically sorted for themselves. You know, who, who gives a damn about circuits? Uh, anyway, let's take this opportunity. Stick that in there. Perfect. And you can quite comfortably sit in there. It's almost like I planned that, eh? How crazy. How darn crazy indeed. We'll, we'll put two two inputs, one output. I suppose we could probably put three just for the sake of consistency. No, in fact, no, two. We've only got two there. I don't know why I thought we had three. Uh, but that's fine. It doesn't, doesn't make a, a huge difference. Put that in there. Take this power cable up because we don't actually need it. And... Uh, we will, we will assign you something to do, and we will assign you making rocket fuel. So please load up with, uh, with rocket fuel. Well, just as I say that, we run out of rocket fuel deliveries. We run out of solid fuel deliveries. Which is fine, it's just, you know, less ideal. What's the problem here? Why are we not getting... Have we got too much petroleum again? We've got too much petroleum again, don't we? <sighs> all the time. All the time. Happens all the freaking time. Um, well, I suppose we've got two chemical plants. We could turn the petroleum into solid fuel. I don't really know if we want to do that, though. Alright, let's be super, super dumb right now. Let's just pick up all of these tanks. You know what? Let's just pick up all these tanks. And you know what that's going to do? Yeah, it's going to literally waste thousands and thousands of tons of petroleum. Stuff which I was very, very concerned with getting earlier on. But now, I'm not a, not a huge fan of. I'm not going to lie. Not a, not a huge fan of petroleum. I'll build one more tank as well. Oh shit, did it not disappear? No, it should, it should just balance out and allow us to build a shit ton more heavy fuel. Um, yeah, I would actually like to do something with this petroleum though. Like... Obviously, I did want to move the storage out of town just a smidge, uh, but also I, I would like to make some solid fuel. I really do want to make some solid fuel out of petroleum. And the reason is, of course, it's 
it's so abundant right now. You know, we've got so much darn petroleum that we really... It's coming out of our asses. I'm not gonna lie. It's coming out of our asses. That's actually how we, uh, we're manufacturing it. It's just, it's just so damn much. So damn much. Uh, okay. You can go there. And... One more fast inserter. Doesn't technically need to be a fast inserter, I suppose, but... Alas, it is. And then let's get our belt, and we actually may just have enough resources on us to belt all the way down to there. Although, in fairness, it's going to be unlikely. It's going to be unlikely. Uh, but I plan on expanding that petroleum area. That's for darn certain. Now, can we can we get away without using any underground belt? The reason that I don't want to, you know, get any underground belt or use any underground belt is because... Well, quite simply, we don't have any resources to build stuff. I mean, we've got one piece of underground belt, but that's that's no use to, to anybody. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be possible to uh, to do this entire process without the uh, the odd use of the whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit. That's right, you heard me. The whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit. Um, what about... Iron plate. Well, if, you know, we're really fucking close to iron plate. Let's just build some some normal underground belt. I suppose we can we can be allowed to cheat, since it's only normal underground belt that we're using. Uh, okay, now we're gonna try something really really cool here. Okay, let's see how far this will stretch. Okay, and now we're gonna have to weave this belt in between here and then down here. Okay, this is this is gonna be. Interesting. I mean, this is quite a belt. Oh, we're not gonna have enough belt, are we? You bastard. You f th 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 this game sucks. Fuck this game. Seven pieces of belt. Can I make s can I make enough belt on my person to avoid going back? I darn well hope so. Pick that up because we don't actually need that belt. Oh, it actually gives us an extra piece of belt. One more belt. One more belt, please. One more belt. Thank you. No more belt. Don't need no more belt. I'm good. There we go. Perfect. Fantastic. So that is going to give us a little bit extra petroleum. It's not going to give us, you know, a shit ton more. It's it's only it's only two it's only two factories worth of production. But it's going to it's going to do something it's going to do something at the same time as making, you know, obviously obviously it's going to do something at the same time as making solid fuel. Obviously making solid fuel is exactly what we want. And I can understand that, but at the same time, it means that we're actually using petroleum, which is kind of nice because it means that our heavy oil is not going to, or is going to exist for longer, should I say? You know, we're going to have heavy oil more consistently. And uh, the next question, oh, object is being damaged. I really should check up on that because there was a turret that was damaged in the last episode. Um, basically, I think that should ensure that we have two factories pretty much going constantly. I think so, anyway. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we're talking. We're cooking with gas, as they say. And I would love to stick lots of speed modules in there, but we've only got three. I'll have to run back and get another one, unfortunately. But that should help even things up a little bit. I mean, what what percentage are we now? We're 60% of the way to the rocket. Holy cow. You know, it, 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 it it's happening. It's happening. It's coming. It's, it's, ever, it's ever encroaching upon us. It's very, very exciting. Now, how is this area over here? I mean, we're fine for we're fine for low density structure or whatever the hell you call it, low density structure. Yeah, we're fine for that, right? We're absolutely fine for that. We're fine for speed module twos. We're not fine for speed module twos. That's a problem, apparently. How many? Holy cow! Speed module uh, threes. We got a fair few of, in fact. Let's uh, stick this bad boy into overcharge. Make him go super fast. That will help everybody, I think. Probably not, but you know, it might. Fingers crossed, I guess. Uh, and let's let's do a switcheroo up here. Give me that speed module two. You can take a stupid, stinky old speed module one back because nobody needs it. How many speed module ones have we got in this chest? Wow, like fucking nothing. Like this is this is going to be the next area that we speed module because that's going to like delay this entire process. Well, not this process, really, but, you know, this process and then this process, it's going to be all delayed by the fact that we don't have enough of the speed module ones. Although, in fairness, I have nicked quite a few. I really have. I really, really have. Uh, and let's stick you in there. And then make me a speed module 3, because I am a way to take it all the way back, 
over this way. I, I can't motion far enough, but we're, we're going to take it all the way back over there. And, uh, and when we take it over there, we're going to stick it back into the... What do you call it thingy? The what do you call it thingy? Technical term. Technical term. Um, the the rocket fuel, the rocket fuel area. Yeah, the rocket fuel assembly machine. That's the that's what I'm talking about. You built built it for me yet? You haven't. Also, are you fine for alien artifacts? You're fine for alien artifacts. I feel like I'm I'm very very clingy when it comes to these alien artifacts. Like I, I like them a lot, but I don't want to give them up. You know, I I, I don't want to unnecessarily put them where my eyes cannot see them. In, indeed, it sounds uh, motivational and deep, doesn't it? Not really, it just sounds a little bit pathetic, actually, but whatever. Um, rocket fuel's producing at a... I don't want to say a crazy fast rate, but it's at least producing a little bit faster now, which is kind of nice. I really am going to have to take a look up there, I'm afraid. As much as I do love fiddling around with, uh, with things down here, I'm going to have to make sure that our power area doesn't go down. Because that would be catastrophically bad for us. In fact, that would that's probably the single worst thing that could actually happen right now. And I say that without exaggeration. Okay, so we'll take a whole batch of 22 laser turrets up to the top over there. Yeah, it's pretty much that area that's just being constantly engaged, which, engaged, which is uh, not really what we want to see at all, actually. But, you know, hey-ho, what do you do? What can you do, in fact? I love how we've pretty much never used any of these la these these laser turrets, these normal gun turrets. Pretty much never used them. It was pretty much unnecessary waste of uh, resources, but whatever. Cool story, right? I know, right? Changed your life, changed mine too. Okay, so it looks like no longer rocket fuel is going to be the remaining factor. It looks like it will once again be rocket control units. That's fine. Who, who cares anyway? Do we have our train on us, or did we park our train up? In fact, no, we don't even have a train anymore. Oh yeah, I remember that. We uh, we actually we actually made it uh, into the copper train. Huh. How crazy is that? That's pretty cool. Now, what about the stone train? The stone train, I'm pretty sure the stone train's fucking useless these days. I mean, fairly sure it hasn't done very much for a very long time. And also, Houston, we might have a problem. Yeah, I thought one of them would have run out of fucking fuel. Why did you run out of fuel, buddy? Did we just... Was there just a long period where we never had solid fuel? Because I'm pretty sure this guy's going to be delaying literally everybody, yeah. That's so annoying. That is very, very annoying, in fact. And now we're going to see all of the four other trains all come back. Guarantee you. Guarantee you. Let's just let's, let's just go and check the the fuel situation of this dude up here. Yeah. So why why are you not getting your fuel, buddy? Has it been taken out? Did I take that up? I mean, that looks like we've taken out some some stuff. What? It does not make sense. Like, when did I do this? don't remember doing this. Not at all. Up there. One more piece of belt. There we go. That's fine. Oh, copper train. Cool copper train going away. Don't mind about that. I'll take the stone train, though. Like, that is my train to take because nobody is actually, uh, nobody's actually using it anymore. It doesn't fucking matter. So I'll just take it up and I'll, uh, I'll investigate the power area by myself. There we go. We're on an adventure, as we usually do. Oh, in fact, let's go down to here. That's cool. And we'll park up here. Fantastic. How are we doing for power fuels? Power fuels? Yeah, we've got quite a lot. I mean, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's slightly annoying that we're running out of coal, but you know, you gotta bear in mind that uh what is it? Coal gives you coal gives you eight megajoules of power and solid fuel gives you twenty-five megajoules of power. So I mean, a solid fuel pile is literally 2.5 times longer lasting than a coal pile is, which is, you know, it's no small feat. Wow, these guys are, these guys are doing damage. You know, they are doing damage. I'll, I'll grant them that. Let me get some repair packs out. I'll get some repair packs out. 
I'll also place down more, simply because I can't be bothered just, just repairing them. I can't be bothered heading back and getting the materials to repair them. So, uh... I'm just gonna, just gonna let them suffer in silence, really. It's a real shame, but, you know... Who gives a damn, really? Who, who really gives a, a flying fuck about them? Here we go. There we go. Just, just fucking place as many down as I can. There we go. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, you know what? I think we totally need a big electric pole right there. Simply for that one turret. To totally. Totally necessary. Maybe we'll put these two pieces of walls, like, in the front. Just in case the biters want something to get distracted on. You know what? Maybe they do. You never, you never can tell. Okay, Mr. Stone Train, you've been consuming our resources for a little bit too long. Let's go to the stone. Let's go to the stone pickup. You know what? Let's go to the stone pickup. It's been a, it's been a long time since we've had a look at the stone pickup, so we'll take the opportunity to go over there and uh, and have a wee look right now. But I think after this uh, this final journey, you're going to be decommissioned. You're going to be shut down, and you're going to be parked up in your eternal resting place, which is. A shame, I suppose, but alas, it is the reality of the situation. When you stop being useful, you get retired. Well, it's, it's, it happens in life as well as to trains, unfortunately. Well, here we are at the stone pickup area. The entire stone pickup area has been uh, has been used up. I'm okay with that. Let's let's go to the main station of stone. Main station of stone. Why not? There we go. Fantastic. The iron area is uh, is slowly being mined out, but you know, not not slowly enough to uh, to warrant going to another iron area. Like we're, we'll manage to do, uh, we'll manage to get away with just going to that iron area this entire game, I would imagine. Uh, but yeah, this is his, this is his journey home. This is the train's journey home, the stone pickup train's journey home. Unfortunately, slowing down for the last time, and there we go, rolling into the station. Train is stopped. Still got uh, a lot of solid fuel on him. We jump out, and his engine is silenced for the last time. How sad is that? It's pretty darn sad, isn't it? Pretty darn sad, if you ask me. Pretty darn sad. Uh, why the fuck do we not have more rocket fuel? Like, I swear to God. Oh, cock. I forgot to put that boy in there. That boy in there? Uh, why did I say boy? Speed module 3. That's what I meant. Goodness sake, what an idiot. Uh, do we have the resources to build any more chemical plants? Because I would really love to do that. Like, I would love to get some more chemical plants set up to process the copper. Uh, not the co the copper, the petroleum. That's what I meant. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Am I seeing power problems right now? Why am I seeing power problems right now? Are we haven't... Are we being attacked by, by something? What the hell, Nuggets? You know what? We can resolve this, like, right now. And absolutely right now. You know how we're going to do it? We're going to do something that we've not done this entire game yet. That's right. Solar panels. <laughs> we have not done a single solar panel. or We haven't put a single solar panel down this entire playthrough. Do I have any regrets? No, not really, actually. Not at all. Like, I'm... I'm, I'm, f I'm, f you know, in factorial mode, I'm full-on fossil fuel boy. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm fossil fuels all the way. You know what I mean? we go. That's stupid, actually. Let's get them going in this direction. There we go. Not there. Just there is perfect. Now, if I could get some electric poles, that would be fantastic. There. And then over here. Just, you know, just jumble all the cables together. I think that's... Uh, It's a pretty pro tip, I think. Just jumble all the cables together. It'll totally work out. There we go. Do we have any laser tarts to place down over here? Not really, in fairness. Has that sorted out our power problems? Not really, in fairness. It's the fucking night. It's the fucking night, so we really can't, uh, can't do anything, I'm afraid. Also, unfortunately, we're going to have to take 50 laser tarts out of there, which means that one factory is going to be working. Do I really care? No, not really, I suppose. Not really at all, actually. Okay. Set up a quick perimeter of... turrets. There we go. It looks somewhat even, even though I know it's not. I mean, <laughs> I know it's not even, 
and it's still like one block away over this way, but whatever. Um, you know, live and let die, I guess. Our 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 base is having serious power issues right now. If only it was morning. If only it was morning. Oh, not to mention the fact that we do have like thousands of accumulators just like waiting around. And that's kind of cool as well. How many of these speed module threes do we have? Five speed module threes. Holy shit, we're making these at a fucking balling rate. Like it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So once again, it is uh, it is rocket control units that we're having an issue with, but hey ho, 70% of the rocket! 70% of the rocket, there we go. Now, how are we gonna be doing for, for power? Really don't think we're gonna be doing that good, even at like fucking midday. Really don't think we're gonna be doing that good. Um, let me take another look. 1.6 megajoules, 1.7 megajoules. I mean, what's 600, what's 600 kilowatts times 100? No, times uh, 34 even. Well, that's the real question that should be asked. Uh, it looks like those turrets are already being damaged. Fantastic. Well, at least they're sort of doing something, which is kind of nice. And we can at least do something a little bit more fancy with them perhaps next time. Uh, and by that I mean sticking a a substation in the middle and then just, you know, doing something crazy with that, perhaps. That seems like a, a legit idea, so to speak. Yeah, you know what? I, 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 I wouldn't mind doing that, actually. They're now providing 2.2 megawatts. So I guess we're going to have a mini solar farm over here, like, because I can't be bothered going to uh, expand the power production area, I guess. I don't even know if it's uh, maybe I can't be bothered. I think it's maybe a logical choice, actually. It might very well be a logical... Have I just made a logical decision to transition away from fossil fuels? Holy shit. Crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. 71%. 71%. We're making our way there, folks. We're making our way there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name, of course, has been Old Potato. Thank you very, very much for watching Factorio, Rails Not Robots. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.